This is six time IFBB Bikini Pro Champion, Brina Martinez, and I take ZMA5 to make sure that I get the zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6 needed to keep my immune system healthy and snack strong. Hands down the greatest uh, middleweight champion of UFC history, a future Hall of Famer, um, but a lot of people are, um, you know, wondering if, um, if maybe, you know, crossing over into boxing uh, and taking on uh, an opponent of such a high level um, with so much experience, uh, you know, you know, might be a little bit much for you. Are you feeling confident? And then what do you have to say to any of the doubters out there that you're ready for this challenge? I mean, I think this is, is about how much you love your job, how much you have a passion inside your heart, how much you believe in yourself and how much you like to challenge yourself you know and that's that's me i try to do my best in everything i do and um that's the new experience for me you know and a good opportunity and uh, i'm very i'm very happy to do that pues son son eh, dos, dos deportes diferentes aunque es muy parecido al entrenamiento eh, y y pues es un es una es un riesgo para 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 el que va a cambiar a boxeo, ¿verdad? Más que para el que ya boxea. Tengo, tengo conocimiento que él ya ha boxeado, entonces debe saber lo que, lo que va a hacer. Aparte, es, es, fue un gran, un, una leyenda de artes marciales en UFC. Entonces, sí. yo me voy a, voy a preparar para, para pelear con, con, con el mejor, ¿no? Yo no me, me no, no menosprecio ningún rival y, y como en el entrenamiento está la clave. Well, first of all, I, I, I'm going to be prepared for the best, no matter who it is. Um, I, I know it's uh, two different sports. Um, the training is very similar. Um, and obviously the risk goal is higher for the person who's changing to the other sport. Uh, and this examples, uh, Silva to, to boxing. So, um, that's where the risk is. And, uh, uh, I understand that uh, he has some boxing experience, but um, but I do respect that he's a legend and uh, I'm just going to be prepared for the best, whoever it may be. You know, a man doesn't take a fight unless he feels confident he can win that fight. So, you know, what kind of gives you the confidence uh, that you can that you go in against an opponent like uh, Chavez Jr. And, and take a victory home on June 19th? Well, the, the first of all, is a uh, is a very uh, special moment and a great opportunity for I test myself. You know, is uh, of course is new one is a completely different. You know, I practicing boxing, but it's not the same level. But uh, I try to do my best. You know, and um, of course I go training hard for uh, to change uh, the the mind the people you know about uh how much i can do this or not you know uh, oh, tienes yes. la experiencia julio tienes más de 50 peleas 30 knockouts uh tú tienes en tu mente que hay una posibilidad que podías perder con silva y si es que tienes ese pensamiento que qué significa para ti ganar o perder en el deporte eh la competencia es primero que nada, entonces eh, todo puede pasar, por eso es, es el deporte, pues lo ve, lo ve tanta gente, entonces puede pasar lo que sea, pero yo sinceramente creo que, que tengo eh, las habilidades boxísticas y, 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 y el estilo pues para, para dar una gran pelea y, y, y sobre todo ganando porque yo la verdad jamás tomo una pelea un reto pensando en perder sé que es oh, algo yeah. que pasar. No, no 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 pasa por mi mente no es mi motivación yeah I mean losing is not my motivation I always come into a fight thinking I'm gonna win I uh, I don't see any other way to come into a fight thinking uh, the first the competition you know and and in boxing especially in this sport anything could happen um, I'm confident in my ability um, and my style and and my boxing. 
uh, to come out victorious uh, come June 19th. And I mean, I'm very lucky, you know, to to go to Mexico to fight in Mexico. You know, is a is a legend fight in this uh, in this card. You know, I'm very uh, happy to fight and test my mind, test my skills with this legend guy here. You know, and uh, I try to do my best. So I'm I'm so happy to fight in Mexico. You know, and uh, it's a special people in Mexico. It's a very uh, uh, strong people, and I respect uh, the country. And uh, I go to do my best. You know, I go to do an uh, amazing show for my fans in Mexico, too. Yo espero una gran pelea, porque creo que se se concretó todo como como debe ser para que sea un espectáculo que a la gente no se le olvide. Entonces, yo lo respeto, él es un, 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 un gran peleador, la gente Marcelo es una leyenda. Eh, yeah. y fue, fue una sorpresa, porque yo jamás esperé que él peleara boxeo y, y para mí también es una hacer algo, algo importante para mí. Es it's, it's important, I know I'm facing a legend. Uh, it's going to be something really memorable for me and uh, I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. I never thought that he would uh, come over to the boxing side and, and face me, for example. So um, I'm just excited about the opportunity. Oh, I'm in, in the moment I the I received the the call. I say, wow, that's that's very interesting challenge for myself, you know, because it's in my life. I just try to to challenge myself whole time and this is a good challenge for me you know and i say wow i'm in you know because that's a good challenge boxeadores y una apareció anderson silva y yo pues no no, no se podía parecía que no podía eh, concretarse la pelea pero se hizo fue muy, fue muy fácil fue muy, muy rápido no, I, the answer is no. I never thought I'd, I'd be fighting Silva. Yes, he was on the, the list of opponents. At one point, it didn't seem like it'd be possible, but um, we made it happen. Uh, the team made it made it happen, and, and now I'm fighting him, and I'm excited about it. It's it's I'm thrilled about the opportunity. I think it's dangerous. It's a rival who knows what he's doing. Una, una persona inteligente que, que sabe pelear eh, y, y va, va a ser una prueba difícil va a ser una prueba difícil it's, it's, it's going to be a tough challenge no tiene, uh, un, esti tiene un estilo fácil he doesn't Pero, have an easy style um, he's, he's going to I know he's smart, he has a lot of experience he's dangerous and, and it's, it's not going to be an easy fight sigue Julio Entonces es, es para mí pues un arma de doble filo, ¿no? Mucha gente piensa que uno, uno de la UFC no le puede pegar a un boxeador. Entonces eso corre en contra mía, pues, porque tengo que ganar a, a, a como de lugar, pues, porque supuestamente ellos no saben boxear. It, all the pressure, let's not forget it's on me, because people assume that a UFC fighter or somebody from MMA, mixed martial arts, comes over to boxing, and let's just assume everybody's going to think that, hey, he shouldn't be able to compete with a boxer ever. So actually, the pressure's on me. Um, I'm going to have to perform uh, at my best. Uh, so there won't be any question. If you do win, uh, will you try to go on to fight other boxers? Yeah, maybe, you know, but my focus now is just only for this fight and let's go see in the future, you know, but my focus now is just for this fight with uh, Xavi Jr., you know, and um, let's go see when uh, this done. There's a lot of um, talk about, you know, when a MMA fighter crosses over into boxing, you know, just like Chavez was just saying now that, you know, they don't, they don't really see that as much competition. But in this case, like, how do you, how do you sort of take on that pressure knowing that there's this idea that you're, you're going to get stopped? And do you have a prediction? Like, do you think that you could stop uh, Chavez? Wow. So, 
I think this sport is amazing. Boxing is uh, very traditional and uh, is an old sport, you know, is uh, I need, the people need to respect the boxing because it's not for anybody, you know. And uh, I practiced boxing for a long time in my life. And um, of course, it's not the same level for um, uh, Chavez Jr. and the other fighters, you know. But I try to to make something special for my fans, my fans in Mexico too, and my fans in Brazil and the rest of the world, you know. You know, for me, it's not about money. It's just I don't I don't put in my mind uh, money. You know, I don't I don't think about money. I just think to challenge myself and put in my my passion in my work right now, you know, and I I think when you put in the money first in everything you do it in your life, professional or not, you lose something, you know, and I think the secret is how much you love your job, how much you put in your heart in your job. That's I try to do my best. That I make success in my sport, and that I make success in my life. You know, it's not about money. Lo que lo que opino es que un peleador de la UFC cuando entra al boxeo, como ya pasó alguna vez, no saben boxear, pues entonces mucha gente no da el crédito realmente tiene el pelear con una leyenda como Anderson Silva, que es un gran, un gran peleador en las artes marciales y que aparte es un, un buen boxeador. Lógicamente nunca ha peleado a, a, a nivel que va a pelear esta vez, pero es un gran atleta, así que es un gran reto porque se ha hecho todo para que la pelea sea una pelea, pelea eh, pareja. No, has all the recipe, you know, they're, they're setting this up fight, this fight to be a, an even fight. But but uh, I could say that Silva has never faced anybody at my level. I know he's a, a, a MMA legend. Um, you know, people don't give MMA fighters any credit as being good boxers. Um, they're not known uh, as seen before when a UFC fighter or an MMA fighter has challenged a boxer that it just hasn't worked out for the MMA fighters. So, uh, but, you know, the, the, the idea is to make a, a, a huge event for the fans. And uh, I think that's what we're setting this up to be. Wow, I need to say thank you for everybody. Thank you for my fans in Mexico, for my fans in the United States and the world. And thank you for everybody here and enjoy your rest of your day. And God bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.